Shanti, welcome. I'm doing the recording of 9th of February's God Blessing. Have been delayed by almost around 12 hours now because of some important work yesterday. Anyways, let's get back to this beautiful blessing and I hope you're able to see it and also listen to it, to it itself. So Godfather says in this beautiful blessing that may you be free from Maya. That means the five vices within us, which has been mentioned in most of the different religious texts including Guru Granth Sahib, including Bhagavad Gita and even in Dhampad. So it is important that we get rid of lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, which together is known as Maya. And by keeping a balance between self-service and serving others. So if our battery is not charged, we cannot help others to charge their battery. So Godfather over here says, may you be a conqueror of Maya and keep a balance between self-service and serving everyone else while on the field of service. So together with serving everyone, it is first of all necessary to serve yourself. That means yourself means that means any situation when you're going out to serve or when you are not even serving, when you are actually doing your own physical work or worldly work, our state of mind should be so powerful, so strong that nothing can actually make us feel sad or nothing can make us feel overexcited. So God says, <clears throat> this balance between serving yourself, that means taking care of your own mind and intellect, it's not about physical self only, it's about most important is mind and intellect and habits. Serving yourself and others enables you to make progress. Therefore, while running around on the field of service, keep a balance of the two and you will become a conqueror of Maya. By keeping this balance, you will show wonders. Otherwise, because of becoming extroverted while doing service, instead of wonders, you will be caught in the chaos of some conflict of the natures of yourself and others. That means when you're on the field of service and if you're looking at somebody's negligence, if you're looking at somebody's wrong behavior, wrong attitude, and you get into the chaos of correcting them, then you'll be losing a lot of power, finding faults, correcting, trying to correct other people, using bossiness in the field of service means that Maya is attacking us. That means ego is attacking us. Some form of negativity or impure thinking is attacking us and that is going to create a chaos on the field of service. That means our mind is not so powerful enough as to not get into the details of what anybody is doing and be focused on what I am doing. That is more important. That means self-service. God then says, <clears throat> otherwise because of becoming extroverted, trying to correct everybody else, trying to make everybody else right, while doing service, instead of wonders, you will be caught in the chaos of some conflict of the natures of yourself and others. So you won't like somebody's nature, you'll get extroverted, look at him, what is he doing? He shouldn't have done something like that. While you run around doing service, Maya would make your intellect run around. That means if don't, people don't see you in constant union or union with yourself, how can they even believe that you are a meditator? So this is what we have to keep on checking because Maya or different forms of Maya have got different ways of attacking us and sometimes we are made a fool by the Maya itself. It tries to become over smart and it tries to enter our mind as a virus and we can't even recognize it sometimes. So we have to be very careful and how do you do that? How do you recognize Maya is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. With Zoom Shanti.